Turkey opened its first nuclear power plant this week and in what may seem a surprising step given the geopolitical situation, it's financed and built by a subsidiary of Russia's state energy firm Rosatom. It's not the only country tapping Russian expertise in nuclear power. Moscow's spreading its nuclear know-how around the world. For some countries, cooperation with Russia is an attractive prospect. It has also been able to offer a type of a one-stop shop um, offer to, to many countries where it, it offers all levels of cooperation from training the staff to work in the plant, to designing, to planning, to building the plant, to supplying the fuel, to taking care of the waste and so on. The portfolio of foreign orders includes 36 blocks at different stages of implementation. In 2020, according to Rosatom, the business portfolio exceeded $138 billion nuclear power being used as a soft power tool, say some experts. Rosatom, uh, the Russian state nuclear company and its daughter companies, are uh, big sources of income for Russia. Um, also, uh, into the future, if they are able to continue uh, uh, with the work that they have been doing so far. Um, and it also offers channels uh, for uh, creating dependency, creating strong links, um, at many different levels between Russia and many countries around the world. After the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the West imposed new sanctions on Russia, but are they enough to thwart Moscow's nuclear strategy? Russia is quite good at getting around and adapting to sanctions. Um, and often Western actors uh, overestimate the impact of sanctions uh, and are not active enough in implementing uh, sanctions and in tightening them to, to really stop Russia. So if the West wants to stop Russia, it probably needs tougher sanctions.